I have a program, if you've watched, um, there's a, another video on my website called First Ride, in which I, I did that one last summer, where I show all, all the things that I go through before I get on a horse. And I keep doing those things like ground driving and ground work, and all those things. I keep doing them and going back to them every day when I'm training these horses, flexing them. I'm gonna flex them around here. That was really nice. That was very soft, okay? And then popping the stirrups like this, just checking them out. Um, a lot of these things I'll go through every single day just to remind the horse that everything's okay, okay? He's not gonna walk off when I get ready to get on him. Things like that, okay? See that, I didn't like, he kind of stepped into me. This horse does tend to be a little pushy on the ground, which frankly, most of the horses here in, in this stables are like that. And the reason is because of the way the grooms handle them. The grooms here are not, they're not horse guys. I'm making this sure this saddle's tight enough. It's okay, I think. The grooms here are not horse guys, they're just, guys they've brought them over here and said do this they don't really know have any training in what they're doing handling the horses they do their best but they they allow these horses to step on them a lot and they they lead them real tight by the halter and things like that so that's the reason they all do this it's a little windy today okay i'm going to flex him here flexing pretty good today a little stiff there, but better than he usually is. Okay, he's a little stiff, but better than he usually is. A little stiffer to the left than the right. Let me see if I can get him to give his face. I've been teaching him this. This is about the fourth session, probably, asking him to give his face. So he's starting to understand it. And I teach that stuff real slowly. Anything to do with, with giving to the bit, I want to break it down instead of six or eight steps, I want to break it down into a hundred different small steps. And if you'll do it that way and be really patient teaching this, then they'll learn it better and that'll become muscle memory because this right here needs to be muscle memory. That was really good, buddy. It needs to be so automatically ingrained in his mind that every time he feels me pick up on the reins, his nose will come down and he doesn't even think about it. See, right now he's thinking about it gonna fight me a little bit there it comes okay all right okay so he's doing fine that let's just walk him off here okay um, <clears throat> again I've not gotten out of a trot with this horse I will as time goes on he even feels goosey right there. hip not satisfied with that I kick him a little harder Ride camera. Okay, I'm gonna yield him the other way. And he's again, he's goosing. I don't know if you can see him on the camera there, but when I bring him around, he's kind of acting like he wants to me a little. Give me your face. There. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to uh, put him into a trot. And I'll do it over here close. Okay. Trot. There we go. Okay. He's got a rough trot too. Very, very nice smooth lope, but a, a rough trot. I'm gonna just trot him around here. See, and there's a, the mares are right behind the camera. You can't see them, but I got mares right there and mares right there. <laughs> and a stallion over there. <laughs> so that's just, uh, that's just life in this stable. There's, I have to deal with those realities and, and work with them. So every time I come around facing to your uh, left, his ears flick over to those mares. It should be about right. And he didn't do it that time. He kept his ear on me. Good. Better. Now I'm going to bring him here, turn him into this fence right here. Turn him this way. All right. He's not moving out very fast here. All right. Keep him going. I'm going to try a little harder. Bring him, turn him into this. Okay, I was going to turn him into that fence until he started trying to run away from me. Now turn him into this fence. I think he was anticipating me there. Yeah, exactly what he's doing. Move. 
see him kind of goose a little bit right there. And I want to see this, what it looks like on camera. I know what it feels like in the saddle. Probably doesn't look as much as it feels. Let's do it again into the fence. So I'm going to bit him up to the right. So that's a, probably about what I want right there. It's not real tight, but enough of a right shape that he knows it's a right shape. I'm asking him to bend his head to the right. Okay, so I tie the inside when I tie to the horn, the outside when I tie to that back uh, saddle ring. Okay. All right. I'm going to point him to the right. Eh. Hey, Dingle. All right. And I've round pinned this horse enough. He knows what I'm asking him. He's being a little fussy. Okay. So what I'm looking for here is I'm looking mostly at the inside rope, which would be the one on my, toward me, the right one. And I want that thing to be loose because when it's loose, it shows me that he's not pushing into it and not fighting it. And actually he's doing better. He's doing better today. I'm seeing some improvement, so that's good. It's a little bit loose. It's not real loose, but it's a little bit loose. And uh, by, by doing the reins like that, instead of just tying them directly under his legs, that lets him move his head uh, vertically up and down until he can find a place that's comfortable for him, which about right there, well, wait until he puts it down, I'll show you exactly where I want it. I want it right there. And so that should be the most comfortable place for him. Right about there. And so this, bitting him up like this, trotting him around, allows him to find that on his own. And I'm not...